everyone, Coach Doug here with Phoenix Sports. I have a circuit training course set up behind me. Before I get into that, let's go over some materials that you're going to need. I have set up some cones. If you do not have cones, don't worry about it. You can use cups, and solo cups are perfect for this. You can also use water bottles as we can stand them up and lay them down for this course. I also have some street chalk. I drew some circles over here and a ladder over here. Before we get into all that, today's circuit training course is going to work on our core motor skills. We're going to be working on power, strength, speed, and coordination. I'm going to go through each course here with you one by one so you can see how to do it properly. Let's get started. Welcome to station number one. This station is called the lily pad jump. I have drawn some circles on the ground with my street chalk. You can use hula hoops or the street chalk if you want. This station is going to work on leg power and strength. You're going to start off at the first lily pad. You're going to bend your knees, arms out. Jump into the first lily pad. Jump into the second. The third. The fourth. And the fifth. And then you're going to jump into the water. You can do this however you would like, any variations, skipping, jumping, hopping, whatever you like. Welcome to the second station. This station is called the T-Run. I have five cones set up in the T formation. This station is going to help you work on speed, agility, and balance. We're going to start off at this cone first. When you get here, you can keep your knees nice and back. You're going to sprint to the last cone. Get here, knees are still bent. You're gonna back pedal to this one. Knees still bent. Get to the middle one, touch, side step, touch, side step, touch. Side step back here, sprint, knees bent, back pedal, touch. You can go ahead and run this two to three times any variation that you want. Have fun. Welcome to the third station. This station is another variation of the leg jumps that we ran before. This is going to help you with your leg strength and power as well as your balance. I have one middle circle with four circles around it. All you're going to do is start off in the middle with two legs, knees bent, jump to this circle, jump back, jump to this circle, jump back, jump to this circle, and so forth. You can jump to any circle you want. You can even have a friend yell out, jump right, back to the middle, jump forward, back to the middle, jump left, back to the middle, jump backward, back to the middle. You can have a friend shout them out so you practice your hearing as well. Welcome to the fourth activity. This activity is called the ladder run. If you don't have a ladder, like this one, go ahead and draw one on the ground with your street chalk. This is going to help us practice with agility and speed. So you can do many different variations of this one. I'm going to run through two with you. Go ahead and change them up as much as you want. The first one kind of works like regular hop steps. Start at the end. You're going to jump with one foot in and then jump out and land with two. So jumping in, land with two. Jump in. Two. Jump in, land with two. Now on your way back, you can do that one again, or you can run a different one. This one, you're gonna start off at the side. You're gonna run in, shift over and run out. Shift over, run in, and out. Make sure you tap one foot inside the box when you go. This one's a little bit more difficult. You can go ahead and do anything that you want with this one. Have fun. Welcome to the fifth and final station. This station is called Cone. I have three cones set up here and two cones set up over here. This station is gonna work on leg strength and power as well as speed, agility, balance, and coordination. It's gonna knock out all five for us. Let's start over here. Starting out over here, we're gonna jump over these first two cones 
arms out for balance, leg power. When we get to these three cones, we're going to weave in and out. You can do this by shuffling your feet. Ready? Shuffle. You can go back here and do it a couple different ways. You can start off at this cone and you can jump in and out of them like this. The goal is to not knock over the cone. You can even have your friend, your mom, or your dad come and act as a cone. You can weave in and out of them, trying to dodge them. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Hey!